You've probably heard that old Horace Greeley saying, go west, young man. Yeah, sure. It speaks to America's expansion westward and the once popular idea of manifest destiny. Only these days, it has a different meaning. You see, I headed west recently to Hewlett, Wyoming, where there is a beautiful golf club that lies in the shadow of Devil's Tower. And the people with the golf club at Devil's Tower would like you to head west, too. Because, as you are about to see, you don't have to go far to find this hidden gem of the west. Clubhouse at the Golf Club at Devil's Tower. It is currently under construction, and I have quite the crew here with me to explain what's coming and what to expect from this new building. I have General Manager Todd Coover, along with this father-son duo owners, Jim and James Nyman, along with James' beautiful wife, wife Sally Ann. Thank you all for coming today. Jim, let's start with you. Why did you feel that an update in a new clubhouse was needed? Well, there's a there's a number of reasons. Primary one, when we originally designed the golf course and put in the, the current uh, restaurant and pro shop, it was all with the intent of building a new clubhouse here. So that was a commitment to our members. So this new design is centered around a historic bar that was purchased by my father a number of years ago. From what I can tell, this unique bar is one of the hot topics here for the new clubhouse. And James, I understand you know the details to this bar, so can you take me there? Seeing this now in person, I can tell why this is such a hot topic. Tell me about this unique bar. Well, it used to be in the old corner bar in Belfouche. It's in there for years. It's 27 foot long, 12 foot high, and the mirror is 7 by 13. I seen it, and I tried to buy it, and it went on for several years. Finally, when I caught the guy in the right mood, and I bought it. We went down with two horse trailers and six guys, and we picked it up and brought it up here. And I had my son-in-law put it all together, store it right here, because it was ideal place. And this will be the new clubhouse. So why is this something that you felt should be incorporated into this new clubhouse? Well, we're building the clubhouse around the bar. When this is in the airplanes, and the notice, and there's a picture of this bar alongside the, the golf course, there's a little history on it. People are going to say, I'm going to see the Devil's Tower. I'll stop and see the bar, and I'll go to Mount Rushmore. Something that people would add to their destination bucket list. Yes, mm -hmm. we checked all over. And we can't find another bar like it. This is the only one in history that we know of. So walk me through this new clubhouse and just tell me the different rooms that are going to be available here, um, along with the amenities. Here you're in the main dining room, uh, where we're at. Uh, behind us is the bar and additional services with the bar. You can eat there. There's a 12-foot deck all the way around the edge of this that'll uh, have lighting so you can eat uh, outside at night. Downstairs, we have a 140-foot by 50-foot basement that will also have all of the exercise and fitness center along with all of our golf carts. So as far as hosting business meetings, events, anything like that, how will this new building attract more people to come here for that? Well, it's already doing that. Just the construction alone, we've already got quite a few members excited. To our left here is, is a boardroom, both for our company, but also for other corporate members that are going to have board meetings in here. One of the other amenities that uh, I'd like to talk about, we've also purchased an additional 600 some acres to add to the, I think, 600 plus we already have. We're going to have walking trails and, and a lot of other amenities that will come when, when members come in here. So where are we right now in the process for this construction? Our target date uh, is to have this upper level finished by late November, early December uh, after the season closes with full intent of both levels being finished uh, for startup in the spring. So Todd, Jim touched on the amenities, but can you just elaborate more on what's new? What's new uh, in the basement, we're looking at a golf swing simulator. Uh, we think that'll be an exciting piece to offer to our members, especially in the off season, uh, when they can come in and work on their game if there's snow on the ground. We're also looking at an archery simulator too. So. Uh, hunting is very popular here, so we think it'd be a, a really neat amenity to bring them indoors during the inclement weather. So does this new space allow more availability to host, whether it's banquets, meetings, or anything for businesses? Absolutely. Our uh, business room, our conference room, and uh, board meeting room, uh, the restaurant kitchen is much larger, so we feel like we can do a lot more things there. And we have a lot more seating available now, too, so that should all be a, a positive thing for our membership. So talking about that restaurant, with this new clubhouse, are there going to be any changes or any added to the menu as far as food and beverages go? 
Yes, actually, one of the things that we've done recently is partner with uh, Durham Ranch. It's a bison ranch uh, south of Gillette. Uh, and we are now serving tomahawk steaks that have been incredibly popular uh, with our new grills in the kitchen and everything. We, we just uh, really think that's going to be a, a neat upgrade for us. As far as amenities go, are there any other new projects coming along with this construction, not necessarily maybe in this building? We're considering what we might be doing with our existing kitchen right now as far as adding more lodging would certainly be a plus for us. So um, maybe even a conference room in there with it. So uh, hopefully that'll all tie in together. And how about this skeet range? Skeet range is really picked up this year. It's a regulation skeet range, automated throwers, and we're starting to see a lot more activity up there. It's a really fun sport. Uh, it's a great way to introduce new shooters to the shooting sport. So when people think of the golf club at Devil's Tower, a main reason people come here is to golf. But why is having all these extra amenities so important? I think the allure of the small town is one of the big things. Obviously, the golf course is the centerpiece, but to be able to do a lot of other things out here and really consume their time in the fresh air is a real big advantage for us. So walking trails, the skeet range, the, the fishing ponds, it's, uh, it's really a fun getaway, re very relaxing. As far as hosting events here, how will this benefit individuals looking, whether it's a wedding, a corporate event, or anything like that? Well, we're excited about the opportunity to do weddings and receptions. Uh, we certainly have the facilities now to do so. Uh, tournaments, uh, we can host up to full field shotgun starts, but uh, now we have everything right together, right, all in one place. So it's exciting for all of us here. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today and telling me all about this new clubhouse. Interested in getting a membership with the golf club at Devil's Tower? You can give them a call at 307-467-5773 or check out the details on their website at devilstowergolf.com. And we've got a special offer for Kelloland Living viewers. From today through September 30th, you'll receive $2,000 off an individual membership and $5,000 off any corporate membership. Just tell them you heard about this amazing offer right here on Kelloland Living.